you've got to figure out a way to make the players play faster. You know, I'm all for the pitch clock, you know, because, you know, if a pitcher doesn't deliver on time, it's a ball. If a hitter's not ready to hit, it's a strike. Watch how quickly they start playing the game quicker. The walk-up music, all the stuff, please. You know, the, the fans want to see the game, have more action, more pitches. You know, ball put in play, that's another story altogether. But we have to figure out a way to make the players play faster. You look at a game way back when, I'm talking 10, 20 years ago, the first thing that will jump out, jump out at you is how much faster guys played the game. Buck, you think if that rule was instituted in terms of the hitter being penalized the strike or the pitcher being penalized the ball, you think that would be enough to stop with the stepping out of the box, stop with rubbing up the baseball and slowing things down? Well, you know, we're throwing baseballs out if, uh, if the wind hits them almost. You know, it used to be part of the game was playing with the ball a little bit off. You know, there's so many ways you can do it. It doesn't mean everything back then was better, okay? You know, change, don't confuse change with lack of respect for tradition. You know, things need to get better. But I really think it'll take about two weeks, and the hitters will see this is going to be part of our game. The pitchers will see. I think the pitchers are not going to have to make those big adjustments. If you really look at it, how many times pitchers are standing on the mound waiting for a hitter to get in the box? The walk-up music, uh, don't get me going. But uh, I don't think a fan says, I'm going to the game today to hear what uh, DJ LeMay, whose walk-up song is. You know, it's the entertainment of the game itself.